It's the grandson of right thought. How strange must it be to be royalty, to be a king, and to be speaking to your people who are royalty, and they believe that they are slaves. How strange must it be to try to get a people to understand the truth of themselves, who think lies of themselves, who believe lies of themselves. The only way that they can be delivered from the lies is to come into the truth of who they actually are, which is royalty. Do y'all understand how strange it must be to talk to a people who believe that they're nothing? They believe it strongly. They actually believe the words of a, of a man over Abiyah's words of them. See, us in the truth, when, we, when the truth came, we saw the truth, recognized the truth, we rejoiced because we were set free from our captivity of self-loathing, our captivity of self-hatred, our captivity of ignorance, our captivity of poverty, our captivity of lack, our captivity of low self-esteem, our, our captivity of lack of self-control, our captivity of depression, our captivity of sorrow. The truth set us free from those things because we found out that we were loved that we mattered, that we were royal, that we were somebody, that we were important. That's the truth. The truth set us free from those lies. So when we rejoice, we felt that. When we ran to our people to tell them that good news, the Bible calls it, of the truth that set us free, they rejected it and they hated us and threw stones at us and cast us out of their midst. Told us we were insane and crazy. <clears throat> so do y'all understand how difficult it is to do what it is that we do? When y'all want to hurl darts and shit, throw stones and shit because you just don't understand what's actually happening? See, because... All of you who are not so-called Negro, African-American, or Black, there's going to be certain things that are not going to resonate with you that I'm saying. Because like I told you already, I am a king speaking to my people. Telling them who they are. Telling them of the world that they've been living in. I'm telling this to, the, to my people, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You other nations happen to hear the message and happen to know that it's true. Those are called grafted in branches if you accept the truth and remain in the truth. And don't get in your feelings when I'm saying certain things that may not be spoken to you. Oh man, he's only speaking to the Negroes, man. Well, what did Yahushua also say? The one you say you love. He said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So you must understand this is a family affair first. Judgment on the earth. Where, where will it start? What people will it start with? According to the scriptures. The scripture says judgment will start with the house of Israel. See. Salvation is of the Jews. See. I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. See. See. So I don't know why you guys don't understand that this is a personal thing that God is doing with his personal people. And it's true, which is why y'all are listening. Other nations, see, that's why y'all are hearing and going, it's just true. Just like I dropped the video with the pastor. I didn't make that man say that. I didn't tell him, hey man, you know, this is what's been going on with the so-called Negroes on the earth. He said that on his own.
bearing witness to the truth that if you're hating, I've already said it on my videos and people have not liked me for saying it, not understanding. Well, now do you understand it? Because he said it. So-called white man said it out of his own mouth. If you got hatred for the black people, you better get that shit out of yourself. You better shut your white mouth. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> you better shut your white mouth. I'm telling you, he's giving a stern warning to his people because his congregation was nothing but a bunch of so-called white people, right? So why would he be talking about that? Because it's the truth and the time is now for it. So if he calls himself a pastor, he's got to tell the truth. And he did. You see? <clears throat> So it's an inevitable thing that's upon the earth now. And that's what we're trying to tell the so-called Negroes. And it's it's difficult to tell them when they don't believe you because they call you crazy for saying that. What are you saying? We're royal? Wait, 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 wait. You're saying that we're God's people? How could we be God's people? That's what the Bible said they would say. The Bible says, you said you have loved us. Wherein hast thou loved us? You see? And then Abba says, well, was not Esau Jacob's brother? But I have said, Jacob have I loved? But Esau I have hated? And that's what the, the dilemma is in the Negro mind. He's saying, if you hate Esau, why have you blessed him so? The so-called white man has went across the earth, living it up, doing whatever he wants to do. How do you love the black man if the white man is the one that's doing all, having all the blessings on the earth? Isn't that an obvious question, guys? Don't get in your feelings about it. Isn't it an obvious question? How can a race of people go across the earth killing the way that they did, destroying your earth the way that they continue to do, spraying all kind of chemtrails up in the damn sky? That's so-called white people are doing that. This can't be denied. Killing all the wildlife for profit and gain, making merchandise of, the, of God's people, putting them in slavery, abusing them, And you're blessing them. They're living in the best houses. They have the best neighborhoods. They drive the best cars. They have the best resources. They eat the best foods. They. How do you love us then, Abaya? And Abaya says, Jacob, I have loved. Esau, I have hated. So then the world is an illusion. It's just for a time and it's passing away. That's the reality of it. But since it's, the deception is so thick that most Negroes can't believe it. Most so-called blacks can't believe that they're valuable and royal because of, a, because of the 3D circumstances. They're too damn 3D carnally minded thinking that being blessed is represented by having wealth. And who has all the wealth in the world? Don't get in your feelings about it. Who got it all? Them fake ass Jews. The fake Jews, Jewish, don't they? Don't they have all the banks? Don't they get everybody under their thumb because of money? Because of usury they've done? Yep. So then, you think that because they have those things and, and they got put these puppets in front of you that they've given all their money to, to, to flaunt it in front of you, to make you think, oh, that's really being blessed by God. If you have all that jewelry and all that money and living the high life, drinking champagne and shit, you're so caught up in that shit that you don't know what real true value is. So when someone tells you that you're valuable, you're saying, well, I don't have anything, so then how could I be valuable? The same question I told you about that was written in the scriptures. Wherein has thou loved us? Same thing you're saying. How could I be God's chosen people if I ain't got shit? Because you don't know Abba Yah. That's why. You haven't studied his word. You haven't understood his, his ways. His ways are not the ways of men. He doesn't judge as man judges. You would know that. He has chosen a rejected and despised people. <laughs> and who is more rejected and despised than so-called Negro right here in America? Malcolm X. It's just the truth, guys. The Negro has been en enslaved in this land. And a hundred years later, the Negro still is not free. Martin Luther King. 
So if this be the case in this land for hundreds of years, then there's a reason for it. And when you find out the reasons because you're God's chosen people, then it should all make sense to you. But it can't make sense to the people who are stuck in the 3D world who think that's what glory is. They think that's what living is. They don't know Yahushua's words when he said, he who seeks to save his life shall lose the damn thing, man. <laughs> but he who gives up his life for my sake shall find it. Find it. Find your true identity. If you give up your false identity, in other words, for your true identity, then you'll find your true identity. But if you hang on to your false identity, then you'll never find your true identity and you'll die in your sin. It's that simple. Just like they got wicked people on the earth that say, I heard a voice. I heard voices in my head that told me to kill that person, so I killed them. I heard voices in my head that told me to do this and do this and do this, so I did that and did that. Well, the same thing goes for you, elect. What is the voice in your head telling you to do? And why aren't you heeding to it? Just like that wicked nigga, he, he, he heeded to the voice that was in his head. He did it. <laughs> well, what about you? Do you heed to the voice that's in your head telling you what to do? Or are you kicking against the pricks because it's it's rising you into your truth, which is beautiful. If you come out of this 3D way of thinking, I'm telling you, it's a very strange thing to see a nigga reject the crown. You like, wait a minute, you ain't got shit. You on a slave plant plantation, poor as fuck. A nigga comes up to you with a bunch of gold and jewelry and crowns and all kind of regalia and shit silk and shit he's trying to put this on you and you're like no that ain't for me go give that to the white man it, it's for him he's the one ruling things <laughs> what you just gonna say no and pass your crown what does the y'all say he says don't let your, no man take your crown from you by his illusions don't let that be steal your crown just because he gave you a good illusion you taught this nigga how to make fire he he was up shocked out of his he, his what they say his brain exploded when he saw how fire was made. Then niggas used to just steal fire from you. They couldn't make fire. They had to steal fire. Cavemen, nigga. Lest they lest you forget that about him. His roots, where he came from. Now where are your roots? Where did you come from? Negro man, so-called black man, where are your roots? And then so-called white man, where are yours? Where are your roots? Why do we have to lie about it? Because somebody benefits from the truth and somebody don't benefit from the truth. Now, if the Negro doesn't benefit from the truth, then why was he made a slave? And called, his name was changed into lies by another man. So the other man made lies so that he could thrive. He changed the other man's name, made the other man a slave, and took all his truth away so that he could make himself into something. Is that true world or not? Ah, man, I just wish I could talk to adults sometimes. Instead of a bunch of fucking kids that get all in their fucking feelings all because they don't like what's being said even though it's true. Now, if somebody benefits from the lies while the other one's enslaved, then what happens when the truth comes? Get out your feelings and just be honest. What happens when the truth comes then? It means the nigga that was standing up there on the lies as a, a fake ass king with a fake ass crown on his head. He's going to fall off his fake ass little throne there. And the true king is going to step up in his place, which obviously is the Negro man. It's obvious. Now, the world can either rejoice now that the world is under new rulership. So won't be no more chemtrails. See? There won't be any more vaccines. See? There won't be any more indoctrinating with lies. There won't be any more indoctrinating with idols. There won't be any more idols. There won't be any stealing, killing, destroying. 
There won't be any tears or sorrow. So y'all will either rejoice about that or you will be saddened to hear that news. All because the ones who are producing that result are black people, you call them. You call them that because that's not what they are. That will be the only reason why you will hate this new world that is described in scripture as the kingdom of heaven, ruled by the king, Yahusha, who you say that you love. That's some shit, isn't it? Isn't that something? <laughs> you say you love him all up until you found out that he was a so-called black man. Wait a minute. I don't know if I can bow now. Wow. So it's all about the 3D for which you can see. Isn't it? Isn't it? It's all about what you can see with your 3D eyes then. That's the only things that you guys care about. Because otherwise you'd all be rejoicing. Man, wait a minute. There's a people on the earth that are being liberated out of captivity that they've been in for 400 years. And no one celebrates it. Well, that proves that they are God's people that were called apart and only God loved them then. This proves that they are the people that was written about in scripture in Psalm 83 that said, let us cut them off from being a people. All the nations came against Israel and said, let's cut them off that Israel will be in remembrance no more. They're called black and African-Americans to this day. They're not called Israelites. So Abba's word be true again, as it always is. As it always is, it be true again. So like I said, y'all can play hopscotch with this shit, trying to jump around and shit, trying to double dutch the truth. All the fuck you want. We're going to foot sweep your ass with this shit. <laughs> Soon as you try to double dutch that shit, we're going to foot sweep the shit out of your ass with the truth. Because we don't like lying, the lie world anymore, man. Come on. It had its nice little fun time in the sun and shit. It had its nice little fun little picket fence and a dog and shit with a wife with the apron on and step for wife and shit with the perfect hair and perfect teeth and perfect smile and perfect titties and shit. And the husband and shit with his newspaper sitting there eating his two egg eggs easy over and shit. Oh, shit. Come on, man. That, bu that is bullshit. You cannot murder people, kill people, slave enslave people. Without pay, lie to them, deceive them with false laws, put Jim Crow and all kind of shit on these people, lynch laws, all kind of Willie Lynch syndrome and all kind of shit on them. And then sit up there and say, we're living good and doing good, and doing God's work and everything's all good. No, nope, that's not the way it goes when you mistreat God's people, because Abba said in his word, if you bless Israel, you will be blessed. If you curse Israel, then you'll be cursed. So all of you racist ass people that's, that want to call black people racist, which is not even a possible. It's not possible that the original race can be racist, you stupid fucks. How can the original man be racist against someone else? When he's the original. Y'all are so childish and stupid in this world. That's why we reject this fucking stupid ass world full of stupidity that thinks science is, is having wisdom and knowledge. But you can't deal with a person, though. You can't uplift a person out of their shit. You can't get them out of their wrong thinking. You can't lift them out of their their mud that they find themselves in. You All you can do is give them pills. That's all the fuck you know. You don't know shit. Esau's world is full of a bunch of fucking experimentation. That's all the fuck they do on people. They find somebody has a problem, they just experiment on them to see what might work. Instead of doing what will work. Motherfucker get cancer, y'all don't do none of the shit that heals these people. You let people die right in front of their family. You let people die right in their homes in front of their fucking family looking like a fucking skeleton. A shadow of their former selves instead of telling them the truth, which will restore that person back to health. Healing the body from within with truth. You lie to the people. That's all you've ever done is lie. Your whole world is built on lies. That's all the fuck it is, is a lie. And the fact that you're ornery and upset because the world of Jacob has now come proves how much you hate life.
it proves how much you hate life. You're you you world is you're so fucking hypocritical when it comes to the Negro people. You're so fucking hypocritical. You sit up there and you watch them on TV and shit and you laugh and you crack jokes and you and you enjoy all that entertainment and shit, but you turn right around and you hate them in your heart, man, behind their backs. You're so fucking hypocritical. When this whole thing is built on a lie, this world that you live in that's ruled by these people that you say are good people, this world calls good evil and calls evil good. It calls black people, black people. And it calls white people, white people, when the so-called white people are the ones who do all the fucking killing and destruction on the earth. The most hypocritical fucking race of people on the earth. They will kill a whole race of people off and decimate a whole race of people. And then when one of those people kills another one of those people, he'll say, see, see, you hate your own fucking self. You're doing black on black crime too, you fucking niggers. You're killing each other right in your fucking hood. Well, well, that's very hypocritical of you to say a person who came over here from another place and decimated a whole race of native peoples. What kind of hypocritical shit is that? You got a big ass beam in your eye trying to get the speck out of a Hebrew's eye, Esau. Get the big beam out of your own fucking eye, Esau. Who's spraying chemtrails? Who has the resources to do that every day? Do Negroes? We got planes and shit with chemtrails in it and shit spraying the sky. We love the sun too much to cover that motherfucker up. Are y'all stupid as fuck or what? Isn't that obvious as an enemy? If the sun is out, we out. The sun come out, we be mad as fuck. We gotta go to work. We be like, oh my god, no, the sun's shining too much. We got we be in school looking out the window and shit. Can't wait to get out of the school to get out the outside and get in the sun. What are you talking about? We would spray it and cover it on purpose? Nope. Nope. But a nigga who opposite of you would do that. A nigga who don't love the sun like you do. A nigga who don't just run out there in the sun when it come out like you do. Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? You sleepyhead motherfuckers, how long are you going to sleep? How long are y'all going to play this fucking stupid ass Ring Around the Roses game with this shit? How long are y'all going to do that shit? Before you be men and women and you sit down and say, look, it's obvious what the fuck is going on. We rejoice over everybody else being liberated from their hardships. All the other nations go through some shit and when they come out of it, everybody rejoices for them. You make museums and shit. You make all kind of... Uh, Send all kind of money to this shit and pay all kind of reparations to these people that go through shit. But when the Negroes go through what they go through, everybody ignores the fuck out of them. It just, they go on with their fucking life. Another Negro gets killed by a cop. 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 Every fucking summer, it happens on a, re like it's religion to these people. Every summer, they're going to have to kill the Negroes. They do it every fucking summer. And y'all can't see it. Every loop, every summer, you're going to see it. It's going to be a Negro get killed by a cop every fucking summer. It's going to be plastered all over the fucking media for you to see it. Just to laugh and make a mockery of your stupid ass. To say, look, you fucking dumbasses die every fucking day. We kill you right on TV and nobody even fucking cares. That's why they're doing it. It's how stupid you are for falling for, the, for them and voting for them. And, and putting these people above you. Fuck them. Put them down in their place. They're murderers. They're killers. They're thieves. They've stolen everything that they have. They stole everything that they had, even their fake ass nation, even their fake ass country over there calling it Israel, calling themselves Israelis. Nowhere in the scripture is the word Israeli in there. Period. It's not in there. These people are culture banners. They're made up. They're fake. They're false. They're not real. It's about time that y'all stop giving them your fucking energy, man. Ignore them. They're the fucking narcissist, the fucking fake ass Jewish. Fuck them. Period. Period. And when you tell them the truth, you're going to see their true colors. Tell a Jewish person the truth. Tell them that they're not really a Jew and watch how they respond to you. And then tell them that the Negro is. Watch how they're going to react. You're going to see rage. You're going to see hatred, pure hatred for you. Watch Negro man. Tell them to their face and watch the hatred you'll get. Watch how they'll speak to you. Watch how they'll try to manipulate your mind. Watch how they'll try to use your family against you. 
Watch. That's all the fuck they do. Just flashing their little fucking diamonds and gold that they stole from you. It's your shit, and they flash in front of you like, look what I have for you. I'll give you some of this if you come and do what I say. Fuck you. Fuck you, you degenerate ass fucking, you motherfuckers. Literally. You literally. I told you, Canaan, the cursed seed, Canaan, them motherfuckers, them fake ass Jewish motherfuckers, guess what? How they get here? Therefore, Father Ham, see, they're Hamites. Their forefather Ham laid with their own mother. He laid with his own mama and produced Canaan. So then he's a motherfucker then, ain't he? Hebrews been telling the truth since the beginning. I told you this about these motherfuckers. She surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> You're the motherfucker. You fake ass, wannabes, culture bandits, thieves. Pirates with the crossbones in the skull. That shit ain't never changed. I've always stolen. It's all the fuck you do. Looking for your treasure. So you can steal all the wealth and use it to control all the people on the earth. Well, the jig is up now. Okay. Give it to me. Give it all to me. Give me what's mine by divine right. All of what's due. Reimburse in full. And as, and as y'all like to do with interest, motherfucker. Siloam Israela.